back to our channel it's your girl Tiana and today we'll be talking about how to spot an, a toxic person or a toxic relationship right so you know in within the community there are within any community just generally people in general um, sometimes people just toxic people just always find the negative things them for say like nobody not talk about positivity nobody not talk about the good things them you understand me not to listen oh you know for tell a friend if there's something negative going on or whatever the case but lord jesus they get up every day there's a negative 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 so you don't want to seem as if you're a bitter person you're a toxic person so i have a few points here that it's an indicator it's a red flag that this relationship whatever we have going on it's toxic and we need to get rid of it people are relationship that brings n nothing but negative energies bad vibes leaving you drained depressed tired bogged down and feeling as if you have no will to live you understand i have a friend when she tell me say like the relationship she's in she is like to feel trapped you know um she yeah she's she's she loved the person but she don't know if she really loved the person because of love or just because the person would have helped her and whatever listen don't be in any relationship because of pity yeah don't be in a relationship because you pity the person that you're in you will never love them you pity them and that is why you're in the relationship you will never get accomplishment from it because you're not in love with the person you understand you're always like i have another back of your mindset oh why am I even bother in that relationship here? You know, you just feel, oh, you just feel horrible. You just feel so drained. You just feel so bogged down. Don't be in any relationship like that, my love. Mm -mm. Don't be in any relationship like that. If you're in a relationship like that, sweetheart, see if I can squeeze you out. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Um, people who talk about you, your flaws and your faults instead of trying to help you make the necessary adjustments and corrections. Listen, all away have our flaws. All away. Every single one away. You understand? You have some girl and pretty and nice and shit good and sexy. But then put the tongue long and drawn out and suck out and stretch out. That's a fault. Can you imagine somebody take off her clothes after seeing that nice sexy figure and say, oh yeah. And take off her clothes and just for see a pussy tongue just drop her gongs a bluff? No boo. Somehow we can't go without makeup all day, every day. See there? Nothing. And I know we can't do that. Somehow we have to make up with face. Nothing we can't come and video come do this without making up them face what i just did a while ago was just my beard wash my face and brush my teeth and come you understand a lot of persons cannot do that because them have all of them face them face full of this them face full of blemish and spot and bliss and that and that so all of us have a look of faults yeah i never that bash nobody i was just saying that we all have our faults me have a fault my belly big since i had my c-section it just did it just not just just did it you understand and when you you see that it's not that you know it just did it <laughs> so that's a flaw or a fault of mine but Tony love it and love grab it and uh, oh that's another story people who argue and fight with you for the simplest unnecessary things like anything make them fight today anything and all look a foolish these people are toxic and you need to get rid of them you understand these I mean you're not supposed to in a no relationship or friendship with nobody we can't see the good in you ever be a negative things that's all i'm ever see no sir that can't right people who cheer for you oh people who don't cheer for you when you win listen watch it for them people eh, when i cheer for you when i win no matter how things are going for you your friend them them girl eh, them just nah them just nah say congratulations tiana Messi say this and Messi say that. Good job, girl. Whatever. Listen. Listen to me carefully. I don't want you to tell me that hypocritically still, you know. You understand? If you don't mean it, keep it. 
So I you know what? Make a point that stay. Because sometimes them don't mean it. So them can't really tell off for true. Yeah? But if you realize that you have a friend and when they win you can't cheer for them, it's not a friend, yeah? You don't like the girl them deep down in your heart. Because you can't have a friend, you don't understand. Or you have a friend and them them go on with them safe and you not sitting on your heart for cheer for them. No, sir. Something is not right. People who who um who upset with you when you make a decision that um that is for your own good and probably exalt something with that that they would have suggested or put them put the, n doesn't all right I mean, you know obviously because i don't want it to be it's like you do something that is good for you but not necessarily good for them you understand and it's not that it's not that what you did made their situation worse off it's just that if you had done something else it would have made them better off too but it didn't it just make you better off for example you know somebody who do nails right however them don't do the nails up to the standard that you like so what you do is go to somebody else who you like their work you understand you always have people that say support for support and this that that me will support you if you work good you get me if you don't work good why you don't want me to waste my money and it's not like i give me a free nail do you're charging me yes yeah, so if me can't get my nails do good why me must come to you even though you're my friend you don't do nails good or you don't need up to a particular standard that i want me can't walk up and down and i should put my fingernails like, and it don't do good you understand me same thing with ear me know say your ear just the way you don't do ear good yeah I me left two ears just right away. Then used to do my ear, my thing said so that was the best thing since sliced bread. So if I'm a friend, I go out of my ear, look pan my ear. You know how long my ear do? You know how long? I chill I over the camera. So if I look pan it in a real life, you always say it not ready for do. And that is why it not do. Because my ear do neat. I just become in a sleeper tired, make it with a look of dust, you know. You understand me? But I'm not gonna come to you just because I'm a friend. I'm gonna give you my money. No. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. You must something there. You must put out good work. If you put out good work, I'm gonna have a problem. I'm gonna have a problem. I come support you. Can you put out good work? But I am not gonna come to you knowing that you're not really put out no good work and people out there we can do a better job. No love. I'm gonna have something there. Friends that keep things away from you, though they would want to know if it, if it if the thing happened to you. So, as something happened to me in a real life, where it's like my friend get like them that get a body splash from a client, and if me they get the body splash on the client, me that tell my friends at least I get a body splash on the client, but they got a body splash and them that tell you, and if you had gotten it and them find out, say get and tell them that I feel some type of way, I share some face to say, oh yeah, hide things from me, but yet still they got it and they never tell you. So them want you for bella out everything to them, but them not bella out nothing to you. I see it I'm not the time, it's happening to me, and I just ignore. Because well, like someone know the same way, but I already get the load down, you get me? So these are the things, you know, these are the points that I have that tells you that you're in a toxic encounter, toxic, because it, it doesn't have to be a relationship, it can also be a friendship, where you feel like, oh, this person is rude for you, and you know, and they're not, you know, they're not. And you know, as a side note, um, I mentioned it in a previous video, I think, and I was saying that, you know, some of you butches or you know some of you people with those people for things or you do with somebody and them bring it from nothing them bring it from nothing I really want to call a name you know but them bring it from nothing and the only thing you could have found for that disrespect them I'm telling already if you don't like the people them don't be with them don't take them things don't use people because it is hurtful it is hurtful I'm, I saw my friend the other day, she was telling me about her butchery, go on with herself, Panara. And everybody knows that I'm go all the way out for that butcher. Me calling the name now, but I'm not do it. Yeah, and the best you could have do, a uh, uh, disrespect the woman. Jesus, oh, sir. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Wow. You know? Somehow, not amaze me. Anyways, 
before me go too far down in the video I'm gonna cut it and all so those are my points for you to know when you're in a toxic encounter whether it be a toxic relationship or toxic friendships guys be careful of your friends sometimes your friends are your worst enemies sometimes people get close to you because they want to destroy you not saying not everybody will get close to you i gonna destroy you know but all i'm saying is keep your eyes peeled keep your eyes open watch out for the snake and the grass watch out for the people who don't clap when you when you win you understand me watch out for the people who they give you a good advice them ever tell you some things where when you pray it something for make it go down in the ground yeah watch out for the crab in a barrel mentality people them where if you if you get something and then they get it them you know them feelings you understand me listen everybody have them time everybody have them time listen to me all of us have a book where we are right some of us fill out our chapters faster than some don't watch people if you watch people you're gonna get bad mind you're gonna get bitter and you're gonna get selfish and you're gonna get this and you're gonna get that look here i just started youtube today being the um the 12th of january 2020 is not even one is not even two months or one month because we started november we created a channel November 10. We started putting stuff on it November 17th. But the official content with us was November 22. So we're going to use November 22 as our starting date. So November to December 1 and December to January. We're going to reach two months yet. You understand me? And we have promoted other people's channels. Because my belief say my subscribers can be your subscribers too. Because maybe you're putting out something that, you know, different from me. Understand? Me and I have a problem, I support people. You get me? Because people will see that you are supportive and support you. People still say, you know, and they have some people will say that the one that not, not, not even would have shared about the girl video and not even have said whatever, 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 whatever. And they will watch you and they will see. Me not have to do nothing. Me not have to do nothing. So, back to the point. Watch your friends, watch your partner, watch your family, watch everybody. I'm not telling you to go out there and be paranoid, guys. I'm telling you to have some control over the situation. Be cognizant of the fact that a lot of persons in your circle, they're not there for you. They're there for them. They're just there for what they can't achieve or what they can't accomplish. And an opportunity for licking down and back to them. And, 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 you know, so just, just, just be mindful of these realities. It's sad enough. Hello, we live in our sad, sad world, yeah, man. We just live in our sad, sad world. But I'm imploring all of you, just, you know, be focused. Um, pay attention. Um, look out for the red flags. You know, just, just be, just be on your P's and your Q's. Just be on your P's and your Q's. You don't have to be paranoid. Just be careful. Just be prepared for the worst expect the best and what i'm saying hope for the best and expect the worst yeah hope for the best and expect the worst because right now uh, we're at our own radio <laughs> anyways that is the end of our video guys um please remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already please like this video guys stop watching video them on the like now like the video them no man like the man like the video and comment down below if you have anything to add to what i've said if you have any questions if you have any concerns and if it is that you guys would want us to talk about something or do something don't tell us to do pranks because like i said we don't live in the same parish and when we do move in together because that is also in the pipeline and of course you will hear everything about that we will do all the pranks we will get all the couple things out there we will do all the things i'm gonna say we can't prank tony though i'm gonna but don't tony can and prank me Tony's not that type of even not have the personality there for try to prank me so we don't know all that part that gonna work out yet but let us see you understand let us see how that goes but for right now just go on taking the information that we're pre uh, we're putting out on our channel you know go on learn more about who we are and that type of thing and you know in due time everything remember so we just start you know at just two months we have the whole the rest of the year for do a bag of things and you know but for right now go and learn we'll soon bring in the fun and the games and the, all of these things and make everybody happy you understand anywho like i said this is the end of the video please remember to like share and subscribe turn your post notification on so that every time we upload a video you'll get a little notification to say that we are on 
all right so until next time guys this is tiana wishing you guys a blessed day a blessed week and also remember to be positive blot out negativity don't give it any life at all as well as be your brother's keeper